Hello, Clara. Nice to meet Hi. you. Thanks for joining me. Uh, and congratulations on um, being named best for best poster presentation at the European Conference on Villa Fastidiosa. Uh, um, there were dozens of posters, so um, you did really well to, to win that competition and for your poster and your research to, to stand out from the competition. So congratulations. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to participate. You're welcome. It's been our honour and our pleasure. And your your research is on um, uh, the impact of insecticides on the feeding behaviour of uh, Philemus spermarius, which is the main vector for Zylella fastidiosa in Europe. But could you tell us a bit? Tell me a bit about how you got into this area of research. Why why did you choose this avenue? Okay. Uh... We decided to, to study the, the effects of feeding behavior of different insecticide compounds on the feeding behavior of Phyllanus spumarius because mm, most of uh, the technical studies are focused on the lethal effects, while sometimes overlook the sublethal effects, which are essential to develop efficient uh, control strategies uh, against the bacterium and against the spread uh, of the bacterium to different crops. So uh, we decided to study the feeding behavior and especially the relation of the effects of this feeding behavior on the transmission of Silella by this insect vector. Uh, because, because for a non-specialist like me, when I hear of insecticides being used, I, I immediately think of, uh, of pests being destroyed, insecticides are used to, to kill. So you, but you, you've deliberately taken this other path of in, investigating how insecticides can be used sublethally to, as a deterrent and as a control, which is interesting. Um, what, what were your main conclusions? Is there, is there scope for applying this research going forward, do you think? Uh, well, uh, what, uh, in the study, we have different parts. So we not only study these effects on feeding behavior, we also study the lethal effects, the repellent effects, and the effects on the transmissions. And what we found is that, for example, the acetamiprid and the deltametrine insecticides uh, have a lethal effect. They kill uh, all the insects exposed to these compounds within two hours. We also found that these compounds and also the pyridine have a repellent effect because the insects try to escape from the plant when exposed to them. And uh, finally, also with the transmission, what we found is that the pyridine reduce the transmission of Silella fastidiosa by uh, this by this vector uh, when exposed to plants treated with this compound. Okay, and is this going to be applicable? Do you think to other pests? Or well, uh, I, for example, what we found is that the uh, modification of the feeding behavior, we found, for example, that the uh, acetamiprid and the deltametrine reduce uh, the silent activities of this, of this insect. And this also can be applied to other crop pests. Uh, for example, this, uh, this can be applied to other crop pests like uh, that can transmit uh, other other pathogens related with the xylem, or even with other vectors that are related with the with Silella fastidiosa. So I think that these results are not only can be applied to Philenus. Of course, we need more research that can be applied to other uh, insect pests. That's really interesting. It sounds like there's a lot of scope for taking this research further forward. Um, before before we go, or I go. Um, how did you find the competition itself? Because obviously this year, because of COVID, uh, the, it wasn't a physical conference, it was held online. And so we did something a bit different this time. We had to, rather than people post, uh, pasting up their posters on the walls and explaining them to passers-by, people, uh, you posted them on, uh, on our um, platform and then used Twitter to engage with people, interact with people. And one of the criteria, the criteria we used to judge the posters was, uh, a, a, an evaluation procedure we came up with based on interaction and so on and so forth and that and you came out top on that so how did you find it did you did, it's obviously a different way of doing it did you find it interesting useful did you learn anything from it i think that uh, this is a wonderful initiative because the using of the social media to to spread the knowledge or the scientific knowledge sometimes uh, the scientific community tend to 
just share the results to to scientific public. And I think this is a way to uh, get the people to get close to the scientific results. And I found that this is especially important in topics like Silella fastidiosa, that it is something that is very interesting for the for the um, for the people because of the devastating effects that these pests show, especially in Italy, but also in other parts of Europe, like in Spain and the Balearic Island or, or in or in Alicante. Well, it'll be interesting to see by the time of the next conference, which will probably be in two or three years, uh, how how far, how much more we're using social networks and social media in uh, research, particularly research into Silella fastidiosa in Europe. I'm glad you enjoyed it, and it sounds like uh, you threw yourself into the competition, and uh, you, and you're a worthy winner. So congratulations again, Clara, and good luck with the rest of your research. Thank you very much. Thank you.